Ugh. I'm finna tell y'all the truth, man, cause y'all steady be saying all of my comments is. Oh, is he D what? Oh, did he go D what? Oh, he not D what? Oh, maybe he is, bro. I went a lot of y'all about something little like that, bro. I I really went D one, bro. Like first, my first two years, I went to JUCO. Feel me? I was at Southwest Illinois. I went to JUCO. I had to go JUCO route, get my grades up and all that first. You know what I'm saying? But then after that, oh yeah, that's another thing too, bro. Like make sure your grades right, bro. Cause that JUCO route is cool, but it's an unnecessary step that you ain't gotta take. It's just gonna waste time of your life, bro. Just get your grades right. After that, I end up going to University. Of in Ohio for a year. And with that, that's where she had to go downhill, you know what I'm saying? I got there right, doing my thing, that bitch or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to, I'm about to get real personal with y'all, bro. Like, I really don't be telling people all this shit, but I'm gonna tell y'all today, bro, because I'm, I'm tired of y'all ass shit. And I feel like y'all just need to know. So, like, whole time I'm at that bitch, right? It's my first day there, like my first time being there. I don't know too much of what's going on. I'm new trying to figure this shit out, bro. And I go to my coaches and all them for help and Them don't even want to give me a take back. I'm like, bro, what the fuck going on? Like, I can't get a take back. I'm trying to learn how to figure out. I'm trying to get in the gym and work out. And shit. They ain't letting me in the gym. I'm like, so I say, all right, cool, cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe they just busy. Then I go to my teammates and shit. The niggas that's already been there, them niggas I texted back. I'm like, okay, what the fuck going on? Like, y'all got the real sus right now, you know what I'm saying? But I just keep on pushing, you feel me? I just go to regular practice and I, I don't get no extra work in because I can't. Whole time, I get into practice early one time and I see like four, five, and then that working out with the coaches, bro. Like, like, why wasn't I invited? You know what I'm saying? Like, why they ain't tell me? Like, I could come in the gym if I wanted to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, they already been picked out who they done picked out to, to be, like, you know, who they want them to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even really get a chance to do my thing. You feel me? So then, I'm like, all right, it's cool. Hold on, I'm just trying to keep a positive mindset. I'm like, I'm finally made D1, bro. I finally did it, bro. Like, I'm about to get out the hood. So we go in for the practice, the open gym or whatever. And you know me, man, I'm balling and junk. I'm, I'm working out, you feel me? I'm doing my thing, getting buckets, dunking, all that, bro, playing D, all that, bro. Looking real good. And then something struck me, bro. Like, the coach told me, he was like, I had, like, we were only going to 7-1 game. I had, like, 6 out of the 7. And I had game that And the coach was like, like, damn, see, I didn't know you was like that. I said, huh? You ain't know I was like that. Like, it, you recruited me, bro. Like, you was supposed to know everything I do. You know what I'm saying? But it was just a whole bunch of fishy junk going on. And, and I didn't even realize that until I left. And I was like, you know what, bro? This dude ain't know who I was, bro. Like, what did they bring me in there for? They ain't even know who I was. You know what I'm saying? So, that's when I was like, you know what? I don't know what's going on. And then as more days went on, more fishy stuff like that went on. And my confidence started to go from the ceiling to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. Like, it just kept getting lower and lower. And I was like, you know what, bro? Like, I can't, I can't keep doing this, bro. Like, cause it's like, like, I'm not, I'm getting worse from being here. Like, you feel me? I had to go through all that. It just, it just take a mental drain on you, bro. It's not good for your mental health, bro. And it just wasn't worth it in the end. So I was, I was like, I gotta get up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? So. I decided to transfer in the middle of the year. So I transferred up out of there. Once I once I got up out of there, put my name in the transfer portal. So I talked to, let's see, about 10, 10 to 15 other D1 schools like within the first month, you know what I'm saying? So I talked to them and they was all in like, oh, Charles, nice to see you, Charles. Oh, we've been waiting for you. We've been looking for you. We didn't heard about you. You did this and did that. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Like, this about to be a small little process. You know, I'm about to get up out of here and be right back D1. You know what I'm saying? Whole time, they talk back to You know, cause that's just what coaches do. They want to know what's going on. Like, they ask you and then they'll ask the school, like what really happened, you know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't gonna lie. 
they always gonna believe the school over you. Over the player, they gonna always believe the school. Because I didn't told them the truth. Like I told them, they said what happened. I told them I was like, you know, like the vibe was weird over there. A lot of stuff was going on that wasn't right. I had to get up out of there for my own good. And they was making sure they like, you ain't do nothing crazy. Like, like you ain't kill nobody, did you? You ain't beat nobody up, did you? I was like, nah, I ain't do nothing like that. Nothing crazy like that. But <laughs> whole time, when they talked to they out here talking crazy on me to the other division one school, especially the ones within the same conference, which I ain't gonna lie, it kind of makes sense, but it's dead wrong. Cause I mean, they, it makes sense cause they'll have to play me. You know, I know all they plays and all the ins and out and that stuff, but it's dead wrong. Cause it just mess up the, the player life. You know, like that's just bold, bro. You know what I'm saying? So they sat there and told like all the schools and the conferences and they conference that, that was recruiting me that I was like a, a thug and a, a danger to practice and they didn't feel safe when I was around this, this, and that. Whole time, they didn't even know me. And like, I was, I'm, I'm the farthest thing you could be from a thug, bro. Like, I don't be doing nothing but hoop all day, bro. Like, I don't do nothing. I don't bother nobody. I just be minding my business, trying to be great. Like, damn, like I got, I got goals. I'm trying to do all this extravagant, shit, bro. I ain't trying to be no damn thug. And then, whole time they sit here <laughs> they sitting here talking about i'm a thug <laughs> but whole time if a d2 school called or any any other school like hbcu or something but d2 or d3 i doubt any d3 is called but like anything else it was like oh yeah charles yeah we love charles he was great he was great charles this that he could play basketball he could do that he could do everything you need for your team like what, bro? Like which one is it, bro? Like come on, nah. I be waking up at the at the crack of dawn for no reason, bro. Like this the this the third week in a row that this class has been canceled, bro. I don't even know why I bothered to pull up anymore at this point. I ain't gonna lie, this a prime example for y'all, man. They talking about you need to go to college to be something, man. The people in college ain't even going to college, so how you gonna say that? And the te the teacher ain't even going to college, so how that's gonna mean something? You know what I'm saying, man? Go get you a bag, man. Get up out of here and get you a bag, man. Do what you gotta do, man. The school route ain't move for real. That's why I don't feel like I got a, a fair chance to really put myself in a position to succeed. You know what I'm saying? Then on on top of that, bro, like you, bro, y'all know how all schools, especially, bro, especially D1 schools, got like, like dog pictures, videos, all type of shit yeah, when they go D1, bro. Bro, I never got my whole time being there, bro. I never got any pics, videos, none of that. I was the only on the team that, that didn't get posted on none of that, bro. I ain't get posted on no Twitter, Instagram, none of that. Only time, only time I got love on the camera was picture day, boy. Like I can't get in the vid. It was to the point, like, bro, I was, I was on the court, and all, all the other nine was in the picture, but I wasn't. I'm like, bro, how did? I was like, bro, I was on the court that play, like, bro, how I ain't get, how I ain't getting the picture, and I was on the court, bro, like. I'm to the point where they was they was doing on purpose. But yeah, bro, mind y'all, bro. I'm not I'm not trying to say none of this to, to scare y'all or nothing like that or try to binge all the way from playing D1 or college in any level, bro. But I'm just telling y'all the truth. I'm just telling y'all how it really is. You feel me? And especially telling y'all my experience and how how it went down for me. You know what I'm saying? But. That's all right though. It ain't it ain't the end of nothing. That ain't stopping nothing. I'm still out here doing my thing. You feel me? I'm still out here balling out, hooping. You feel me? I'm a I'm a play somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I'm a play somewhere. If I don't, you know what I'm saying? I got this YouTube shit. Play on YouTube. If these want a trip in school, bro, I'm gonna make my own way. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's what it is about life, bro. You can't. You can't just depend on people to do stuff for you, bro. You can't depend on 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 people to show love to you, bro. Like you gotta show love to yourself, bro. Like you gotta you gotta go out here and get it on your own, bro. If one way closed, then it's always another way, bro. Go out there and get it on your own, bro. That's just God's timing, bro. It's in, it's in God's plan, bro. If it's not there for you, it's a reason why it ain't there for you. You know what I'm saying? It's something else there for you, something bigger in store. You just gotta go find it. You know what I'm saying? Go out there and get it yourself and find it. But yeah, man. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna talk y'all off. I ain't gonna talk y'all head off too much, you know what I'm saying? Just wanted to give y'all a little something. A little, a little, a little bit about me, man. Let y'all know 
where I come from and like what happened to me, you know what I'm saying? It's a little it's a little brief little story, you know what I'm saying? A little brief little story for y'all real quick. You know what I'm saying, man. But make sure y'all subscribe, man. I'm gone. Nothing left. So can you move back home with me? Because I need your help falling around from taking all these.